Hey, hey, everybody, how y'all doing? This is Sui Sauce of Sui Sauce Presents. And today, what we're going to get into is um, you're just in Sui Sauce Studio. I'm getting ready to transfer um, some music from Machine that I actually started off. I called the song China Doll. And I started off here. I'm getting ready to transfer it to Studio One. Okay, and this is how it's done. Y'all ready? Let's go. Alright, this is the song. So you got the vibe. Okay, okay, that's it. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit File and Preference and I'm wrong. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm sorry close but anyway if you're in hit the file go to preference you can set up your audio set up your MIDI set up your library set up your hardware set up blah, 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 all of that and if you want to know about that y'all just let me know and I'll um, let you know any questions about anything that I do or something you can help me with because I don't know it all I'm not um, uh, a know-it-all you know what I'm saying I'm here to learn Okay, so anyway, what you are doing, you want to export these files. So first you want to make sure that it's all the way down to the, the loop marker, which is this. It's all, this gray section right here is all the way down to the end because that's, you, that's your range. And so I got these different instruments. You want to make sure each instrument is named, and I didn't, but I'm going to just keep it moving. That's what's up. Um, so what I, what you do is go to file, go to make sure it's save, 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 and then you want to export audio, and then you had to export song as audio. So I don't in the options um, normalize loop optimize optimize. I ain't worried about that. Um, split by section uh, my range that's my loop okay then it has all or the loop um, I'm going to this whole loop marker and it's the groups that I'm doing your groups are here this is the red group group H and like if you start, I can't do it now. But C, D, E, F, G, and these are your groups right here. And you name your groups here. And you can also go on the tracks, scenes, and name each one just by right clicking them. I mean, just, I can't do it now. But you right click and name it if you wanted to, whatever section it is. Pattern, what is the pattern? Something for you, just for notes. So. Now, mine is in D, use a machine to export. So that's where I'm sending it to. It's called China Doll, and I 146 BPM. I always put my BPM when I'm transferring um, from, studio, from machine to studio or giving someone else a file um, that's want to uh, collab on the song or some music that I'm doing. You always want to put the... Um, at least the BPM. Um, you can also put the key that it's in if you want, but I, I don't trip. So now, uh, wave format, that's what you wanted in. You have options. I, A, I, F, F, that's for like, uh, 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 what's that? Uh, Pro Tools or something like that, I believe. Um, my sample rate is 44, 100 hertz. Bit rate is 24. Okay. So, Let's go. And I make sure that all my, uh, all of these here is this. So I make sure they all checked off. Or if I didn't want a particular one um, used, I didn't want to transfer it, then you un uncheck it. However, I want them all. So I'm going to exp. So what I'll do, I'll like, I like to, um, find my location 
So I'll go into my files. I open my file folder. I have two monitors so you don't see it. So, and it says D user machine. So I'm going to go, here it is. But basically I'll go into my D folder. As you see, I got a whole bunch of drives. D user, um, sui sauce, that's me. Um, then I'll go to my documents. Then I'll go to native instrument. Then I'll go to, uh, well, uh -huh, backtrack. <sighs> native instruments. Then I'm going to, what most, what was it? Say D user something. Oh. Then go to machine. Okay. Click on machine. And it was in machine exports. Open it up. And this is some of the songs that I've done that's in machine. Yeah. And so I just have that open. And then I'm uh, so then I'll just export it. And it's called China Doll 146. Okay. Exporting now. So it's turning this MIDI information into um, audio. And I'm going to take the audio um, and bring up Studio One. So I'm letting it roll over Beethoven and let it take over. All right. Yeah, that's what's up. So it's running, it's running, it's running. Uh, running, it's running, it's running. Uh, yeah. All right. And now we already had that folder up. So we'll find that folder. Open it back up. And look for China Doll. China, China Doll. Oh, I named something else China Doll back in May. Wow. Me, myself, and I think alike. <laughs> ah, dang. Whoa. Okay. Date. Okay. China Doll 146. Okay. So now what you do is open it, highlight. Click on the first one, and in, in, in Windows, you highlight the first one, go to the last one, hit Shift, bang. And now they're ready to just drag. So right now I'm going to close this one out. File. It's like I said, I always check my savings. So I'm closing that out. And now I'm going to open um, Studio One. And that's what I'm going to do. Open Studio One. Well, this is so, I guess, how to transfer something from studio, machine to Studio One. I guess that's what I could title it. I don't know. But some people don't know. Because I at one time I didn't know. So hopefully this helps. Now... So you can hear what's going on in here. I'm going to change this audio thing. Uh, so that's what I did. And now create new song. We know what the one what the BPM is going to be. So you go here and say 146. Enter. That's what the BPM is. Oh, I'm, first you set your... You pick your... Uh, template so this is the template I like to use so 146 146 enter and name it I'm going to say China doll O-L-L -L. I'm going to name it China doll 2 because I already got it 
the one that you seen in the file folder. So I don't have to worry about the BPMs because BPM is there, and I'm this is my final destination of what I'm doing with this. So so now I'm going to hit OK. And now, welcome to Studio One. And it's set up uh, my template. I created a template first that has your audio, uh, your bus channels. I already created all of that. And it's good to have all of this set up in advance so you don't have to do all of this every time you're trying to go create some music. Yeah, so now I'm going to open this back up. Bang, and I need to just make it smaller, drag it to enlarge so I can see what I want. And these are the files for China Doll, and you just drag them on over. Bang, so now I'm going to close this out, because I don't need that right now. So, and it's at 146 BPM, and this is what was already created. And what I like to do is use the uh, range arranger. So the ranger is already set here. Different people do it different ways. Don't you only use the ranger? You just click over, copy, copy, whatever. Okay, and so now take the pencil tool and I need to listen to find out where. Also, let's back up. Once it comes over, you want to hit the arrow to in game stage it a little bit. You can, they already highlight it. So these boxes right here, you can bring them down to lower it because you want to lower it when it comes here. Or you can go to the mix section of it, and here they are, and you can highlight. When I say here they are, what you see, what you see here, what you see here, when you hit mix, these are the faders for this. See the names. Okay, so what I'm gonna do for the instruments, all of these are the instruments, so I'm gonna highlight the first one and go all the way down to the last instrument, and then which will be here because this is, becomes my bus channels right here. <clears throat> and you ask yourself, how do you know? Because I wrote it in there, buses, and then also these are just what they are. And this is effects, and these showing that these are waves. This is effects buses over here, effects. But right here, these show you that it's wave files, and that's what I just transferred over. So like I say, you highlight that first one, come over, highlight this one, holding down shift. So now you got all of them. Now back to the game stage. Now you want, I don't even have to check to see how loud or low or whatever it is. Um, I just know that I always take these and go back at least seven, sometimes just six, but maybe like seven minus eight, at least minus eight. You could type it in, or you could draw. So I'm like minus close to it. Or I could go right here and type it in. You know what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> but anyway, I'm good where it is. And so I'll leave that. And I like it. Although it has automatic save, I save sometime anyway. Mm -hmm. And it's popped up. And asking me, do I want to 
do you want to copy these external files to the media folder that's associated with this? And I'll just say yes, I don't care, because that's all a part of the deal. So then what I'll do, I'll listen to what I have and find my, my range, because I kind of created uh, a beginning and an intro somewhat. So let's, I just want to find my uh, range. So let's hear it. I don't know if y'all can hear that. Yeah. So that's this first section right here. And, <clears throat> and I'll turn it up for the sake of you all hearing it. But know that you don't supposed to turn none of this up. But I'm turning it up so you all hear it. Technically, you don't want to touch that. Don't touch it. <laughs> but I just want to be louder so you all can hear it. <clears throat> So this first section right here, <clears throat> right here, so it stops at nine, that's a couple of bars, then, then it stops. I just want to make sure it's over. Right here, started at the seven. Yeah. That's it. Hey! Do 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 Yay! 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. Boom. And I think, I think, uh, let's see. I, I, I'm bringing it there. Because I did that little pop, pop, -da 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 -da. I think I want to. Make that separate. And then that's the end of it right there. However, now I want to cut up, chop this sucker off at that end. Uh, put that knife tool. Come right here. Chop. You got to go, baby. And then hit delete. And then there's your stuff to mess with. Okay. <clears throat> And that's basically how to transfer uh, a files from machine to Studio One. That's transfer your audio files. So I hope y'all like that. This is Sui Sauce signing out, baby. Peace. Holla back, y'all. All right. Yeah. Yay. Yay. Mm. Yeah. All right, y'all. Oh, yeah. 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 I don't know how y'all can hear that, but that's what's up. Yeah. So now, like I said, peace. Suey sauce on the track, y'all. Remember. Be woke, not woke-ish. Yeah. Peace, y'all.